Poker Face is a Peacock TV series starring old girl from Orange is Black, Natasha Leon. She plays Charlie, a quirky chick with the ability to detect when someone is lying. After crossing some connected tough guys, she has to go on the run. This takes her from town to town, encountering a new mystery every episode. But it's not much of a mystery show, because each show begins with the crime being shown. You'll know the guilty party from the jump. One way to describe the show is to take Columbo, take away his badge, make him a jokester, and then put a wig on him, but keep the same Columbo voice. That's the show. There's a thread that connects the different episodes, but for the most part, each episode stands on its own. While cleaning a high rolling customer suite, a maid sees something on his laptop that horrifies her. She takes the information to her bosses, the hotel manager, Mr. Frost Jr. and his right hand man, Cliff. They tell her that they're going to handle it. By handle it, they mean handle her. It's a lot easier for them to replace a maid than it is to replace a VIP whale. Cliff does the dirty work of erasing the maid and they think everything's okay. That's until the maid's buddy, Charlie, starts asking questions. Frost Jr. is fascinated by Charlie's ability to detect lies. He comes up with a plan how he can use her to rake in money from his high-end customers. But Charlie detects his deception when she inquires about her friend, the missing maid. She knows that Frost was behind it and begins to investigate. Long story short, Charlie does manage to take down Frost Jr. But now she's pissed off Frost Sr. And Daddy Frost don't play. Now she has to go on the run. Jed, a slow-witted junior mechanic, dreams of winning the desire of the cashier across the street and exploring what awaits outside of his boring town. When a Subway sandwich employee on the same street reveals that he just won 25 k on a scratch-off ticket, Jed pushes him off the roof of his building down to his death. Jed has the body in an 18-wheeler and then watches from afar as the truck driver, Marge, discovers the body. As she's trying to ditch the body, Jed calls the police on her, successfully removing any heat off of himself. Flashback the prior day, we see Charlie arrive in town having car trouble. After dropping off the car at Jed's repair shop, she meets Marge, the truck driver. The two have a meeting of the minds. Like Charlie, Marge wants to stay off of the grid for her own reasons. When Charlie finds out the next morning that Marge was arrested for the murder, she starts asking questions. She gets strange vibes from Jed and begins digging for the truth. We meet Taffy, played by Lil Rel, a shit-talking hustler who runs a barbecue joint with his brother George and his brother's wife, Brandy. After George has to change of heart about being part of the business, Taffy plots with the wife, Brandy, to 86-old George. Rewind to the previous day, and we find out that Charlie was doing temporary work at their place. George educates Charlie in the fine art of producing quality barbecue. Turns out that Charlie was indirectly the one that pushed George to want to get out of the business. When Charlie links the wood pulled from her dog's wounded head to the wood out near George's dead body, she springs into action. I know that last sentence was strange, but trust me, it'll make sense if you watch the show. I loved every one of the first three episodes. The lead can be a little annoying, and her voice is fingernails down the chalkboard, but she's perfect in this. It's already good. I just hope that the quality stays consistent. The writing is sharp. Unless they run out of ideas, it should hold up.
It's firmly in the center. Doesn't try to cater in either direction. Episode three has good representation. I'm in. It's one of the best shows I've watched this year. I can't really pick a favorite episode from the three. It's all good.